Hi, my name is Ruthie. I am a third year optometry student at MCPHS. Um, I am originally from Brockton, Massachusetts, but my family's from Haiti. I've been residing in the Worcester area for about 10 years now because I went to undergrad at Clark University in the area. I think Worcester is a great city. There's a lot of things to do, and so um, I also have family out here, so that was one of the major reasons. But I think aside from that, when I talked to other students who went to the school, I think one thing they emphasized was just the relationships they had with faculty and their preceptors and how it made their experience a really valuable one. MCPHS has a four-year graduate program here on the Worcester campus. This is a four-year program that is after undergrad. Um, here, primarily, the first three years are in-house in the Worcester campus, and then the fourth year consists of clinical rotation sites or externship rotations. Um, specifically, what I personally love about the School of Optometry is our clinical education here. Our students start seeing patients in the Eye and Vision Center, or, or what we call the EVC, in the beginning of their second year fall semester. So this is the first time that I like to say that they're seeing the patients independently, obviously with a preceptor or faculty member overseeing them, but it really is the first time that they are interacting with the patient on their own, um, taking the patient through the entire examination. I look nice and healthy. There are no lesions on your macula. Which is we your have all of our students rotate through glaucoma, yeah. contact lens, pediatrics and binocular vision, and low vision if they're interested in that as well. Um, and then our students during third year also rotate through our community health centers. We have a community health center here in Worcester, um, but we also have a community health center in Framingham, Massachusetts, and we actually have one opening in Milford, Massachusetts next semester, which we're really excited about. Um, the great thing about the community health centers is our students see a huge diverse patient population. Uh, majority of patients there don't speak English and our students really get, I would say, first-hand experience using an interpreter um, throughout the examination process. So as a second year student, I definitely was super nervous going into clinic. Um, one thing that our program does is that they bring us into clinic super early as compared to other programs. So I knew it was going to be valuable in the long run, but I was definitely super nervous. Um, but my first day of clinic, a lot of my nerves were relieved because my preceptors were very open to the fact that I'm still learning. And so I think they made the transition from pre-clinic to clinic a really stress-free um, environment. And so um, I think as I went into third year, I definitely felt a lot more comfortable just because I had a full year of clinic under my belt. So now as a third year student, um, aside from working at the community health centers, we also have a chance to engage in specialties within um, optometry. So currently I'm in the glycoma clinic, I also work in the peds um, and binocular vision clinic as well and so those have been that has also been a really great opportunity to take what I've been learning in the classroom into real life um, and so far I've definitely been enjoying it and I've definitely been growing um, in that aspect as well. In our fourth year we have the opportunity to go on externships and for my first externship I will be here at the Eye and Vision Center um, which is in Worcester at MCPHS and so I'll be, be able to also rotate through the community health centers and the specialties we also have in that clinic and then my second rotation I'll be in Florida at the South Florida Eye Clinic which is an MD OD practice um, and so there'll be a lot of ocular diseases and a lot of surgeries um, that I'll be able to witness and just take part in and see um, and my last site will be at in Worcester at the Veterans Affair which again is a population where we see a lot of ocular diseases so I'm super excited just to be stretched in my fourth year to see all these different cases and to really get get the confidence that I need as I become a doctor at the end of my fourth year The reason why I was drawn to optometry was really birthed out of me wanting to do something in the health um, field but not really knowing what. So I decided to shadow a whole bunch of different doctors and when I finally shadowed an optometrist, one thing that I noticed was that um, the doctor really was sitting and had a lot of undivided attention with that one patient that they had. And it felt like the whole exam, not only was she providing care, but they were able to talk and it was a friendly environment and space and the patient left really happy. Um, 
um, I felt like they were like after all the patients I saw, no one left upset. People were <laughs> the people were able to like see um, whether they needed glasses, contact lenses, or whether they needed more education on an eye disease or a systemic disease that they didn't even know had related eye effects or um, eye manifestations. And so I think that really drew me in because it made me realize that optometry is so much more than just giving out glasses. There are so many things in our bodies that can impact our vision, and vision is just something that's so important that we use every day. So there are a lot of clubs on campus, um, specifically within the optometry program. We have a lot of optometry specific clubs. I'm actually the president of the National Optometric Student Association, which is a club that just focuses on giving back to underserved communities. And so I think it's really exciting to be able to do things outside of the classroom and do things with, our, um, with your peers that are also meaningful and impactful. So it's definitely been super exciting to put on different community service activities, to have um, socializing events for students in the club as well for us to get to know each other um, and also for us to form mentorship um, amongst like second years and first years. Um, it's been super exciting. I think one of the biggest highlights um, of my optometry journey so far here at MCPHS has been the opportunity to go to national conferences um, and sometimes getting them funded. Um, this past summer, I actually went to a meeting called um, the Optometry Meeting in DC and it was a, a meeting with thousands of optometry students and thousands of doctors from all over the nation and I had a chance to network with doctors, I had a chance to attend classes um, and it really just it enriches your experience as a student. Um, it shows you a lot of what's going on right now currently in the world of optometry so it's super super exciting and you get to meet so many different students um, and just really network as you begin to think about what you want to do post optometry school.